In topic 2.3, we're going to be finding um, rate of change or slope of a line. So anytime uh, you have a line, you can pick two points on the line and use those to find the slope. So your first point could be your x1, y1, and your second point could be your x2, y2. And then you could use your slope equation. Here we like to use m for slope because it tells you how the line moves. So we have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The steps for this are very simple. You label your two points, plug into the formula to find your slope or rate. So here we're going to find the slope of a line that passes through these pairs of points. Um, if you have a fraction, make sure you simplify it. So here I'm going to label my x1, y1, x2, y2, because my first point is my x1, y1. My second is my x2, y2. Then I'm going to plug these into my slope formula. So for y2, I'm going to plug in 12 minus y1 is 22. For x2, I plug in 10. And for x1, I plug in negative 4. So I have minus negative 4. Anytime you have minus a negative, that's actually going to change to a plus. So now 12 minus 22 is negative 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. We want to simplify, so you can divide both these numbers by 2. And when you do that, our slope becomes negative 5 over 7. On the second problem here, we're going to do the same process. So I'm going to label my x1, y1, and my x2, y2. And then I'm going to write down my slope formula so that I can plug in. So for y2, I'm going to plug in 3. For y1, I'm going to plug in 9, so it's 3 minus 9. x2 is negative 1, then minus, and x1 is negative 4. Remember, if you have minus a negative, that's going to change to plus. So 3 minus 9 is negative 6. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Here, you can do negative 6 divided by 3 and get a whole number. Or some students will do this. So divide by 3 and get negative 2 over 1. But remember, negative 2 divided by 1 is just negative 2. So there you want to simplify it as much as possible. Don't leave it over 1. My next one, I'm going to label my two points. I have my x1, y1, x2, y2. And then I'm going to write down my slope formula so I can plug in. So for y2, I have negative 8 minus y1 is negative 2. My x2 is 6 minus my x1 is 6. Here on the top we have a double negative so this double negative is going to change to a plus. Negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6 and 6 minus 6 is 0. Remember you cannot divide by 0. If you divide by 0 your answer is undefined. So it's not okay to divide by 0. Um, if you were to do it in a calculator, you would get an error. So anytime you're dividing by zero, your answer is undefined. That would actually be, if you were to graph it, um, a vertical line. So it would be a line that goes up and down. On our next problem, we're going to label our x1, y1, x2, y2. For y2, I have 10 minus y1 is 10. x2 is 5 minus x1 is negative 12. On my denominator, right away, I'm going to change my double negative to a plus. 10 minus 10 is 0, and 5 plus 12 is 17. This time, the 0 is on top. If you're doing 0 divided by a number, that's OK. It's just then your answer comes out to 0. This would look like a horizontal line if you were to graph it. So something that I remember if you have trouble with your zeros is I remember the words no and OK. So no and OK. So if it's no and O with an O on the bottom, then it's undefined. If it's OK with your O on top, um, then your answer is 0. So no and okay uh, will help you remember those if you have trouble.